Neighbors living and working in and around Kennedy Square are trying to keep their plans in normal routines as that search continues for Cavalcante. CBS Philadelphia's Nikki Dementia is standing by now with that part of our coverage. Nikki. Good evening, Yuki. We're standing here at Schoolhouse Road and Route 1. It's not far from where you just heard Joe was standing and talking about that increased manhunt. Within the last hour, we actually had a trooper that was stationed here throughout the day. He left, headed towards where Joe was going. So we're, again, just waiting to hear everything that's developing over there. But we talked with people in this area of the Walmart shopping center. Even on day nine, they said they are remaining vigilant. And life, they said, is not going to return to normal until Cavalcante is back in custody. We were hearing, like, sirens, and we're like, is that... Could that be it? So there's always that thought in the back of your mind. Heather Frischma is hoping today is the day Danilo Cavalcante is back in custody. While she doesn't live in the direct search area, she frequents Kennett Square. Nine days. I know. It just seems a little bit unreal. And this morning when I woke up, I really was hoping that they caught him. Police confirmed the convicted murderer has now been seen on trail cameras at Longwood Gardens two different days, the most recent being Wednesday night. With that, the search perimeter moved west, and Pennsylvania State Trooper cars could be seen Friday along Route 1. I drove by and saw about some, pol some police officers every 50 yards or so with weapons that I've never seen before in my life. So, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if it's scary, but it's just uh, a little unsettling. On Longwood Road, U.S. Marshals were seen combing the grounds. The Botanical Garden remained closed after it abruptly shut down Thursday night, while the spokesperson said authorities searched an area of interest on the grounds. When you see the, the corn fields, when you see all the other stuff with the grass up to your waist, it's, it's really a difficult job the police have got trying to find them. Several people we spoke with in Kennett Square say they're keeping a close eye on their homes and cars as Cavalcante remains on the run. It's just shocking that so many people are searching and it's one person and we can't find them. So we talked about returning life to normal. A little piece of that returning to normal, I should say. Staying normal is the 38th annual mushroom festival that happens just a couple miles from where I'm standing right now. That is going on as planned this weekend. I spoke with organizers. I also spoke with the chief at Kennett Square Police. He tells me that he is in constant contact with everyone that is running this manhunt and will change things if need be. For now, live in Kennett Square, Nikki DeVentry, back to you in the studio. Same with you, Nikki. Any new developments? We'll get right back to you. Thank you. Let's show you the tip line once again. If you know Cavalcante, where he could be, or even have seen something suspicious, no tip is too small. The number for the tip line, 717-562-2987. And, of course, if you spot him, call 911 right away.